Hey, good afternoon, More Medic One. This is gonna have to be a two-part video. Hope you don't mind me doing that. I hate making 20, 30 minute long videos. I like to, you know, 10 minutes or so, nine, 10 minutes uh, is just a good watchable length video. Uh, but we're going to do a diagnostic on this particular SRM. No, it's not, excuse me, it's a PE. 280 it's the power edger the object here is to block off the intake and the exhaust ports as you can tell we've already got the muffler removed here and the carburetor removed here so in order to block these off you're gonna have to have a few special tools at the more medic one shop i have the echo kit but here at work we have the steel kit which works great if you're wondering what that part number is, I do believe it is that number right there. You can pause the video if you want right now so you can get that number. You'll need to retrieve your screws from your carburetor and we're gonna use reuse these screws. So just slide them out. Let's go ahead and set the intake side up. You're gonna reuse your air dam with the carburetor gaskets there. Out of the supplied kit, your screws and spacers to take up the slack of the thickness of the carburetor. So it should look just like that. And then we'll take this assembly and then we'll tighten it onto the insulator block here. All right, we got our intake blocked off with our test fitting here that's gonna go to our pressure and vacuum tester. So let's go ahead and get the exhaust side blocked off. To block off the exhaust is real easy. They just use uh, these triangle, triangular pieces of uh, rubber. And as you can tell, we're gonna put the muffler back on and then we're gonna slide this in until it stops between those two studs there. Muffler back on, slide the wedge in between the muffler and the studs till it stops. And then we're gonna retighten the nuts. A two strokes engine runs the best when the engine is 100% sealed. If you have a crankcase leak, where the cylinder jug meets the crankcase, say this gasket right here, you could have a insulator block gasket here. You could have the crankshaft seals behind the starter here, and you have the crankshaft seal behind the flywheel that could also fail. So once we get everything hooked up, and get our tester installed. Let's go ahead and pull a vacuum on this and you, you'll see right away that we're gonna start pulling negative PSI. You only need, oh, about half, half a pound or half a bar. And as you can tell, it's, uh, it's holding and that's what you want. If it'll hold, it should, I mean, if, it, if it'll hold vacuum, it should hold pressure. So let's go ahead and apply some pressure to this. And we're gonna pump it up to about seven PSI. And we're holding pretty steady. If you were to have a runnability issue with this particular engine. It doesn't have to be an echo, it could be a steel or it could be a blower. This test procedure basically is what you're gonna have to do if you get one that, you know, your carburetor won't adjust. You're looking for an air leak because if you have a leak, the engine's just not gonna run right. It's gonna overheat, it's gonna run lean as heck. So, this is the very first part of the two-stroke diagnostic process. And in installment number two, that video will come out tomorrow. 
I'll show you how to diagnose and uh, basically do the same test to the fuel system. We're gonna pressure up the fuel system. We're gonna check the integrity of the fuel lines and the fuel tank. But guys, this is, this is the stuff that you gotta do. I mean, it's just, if, if you don't do your diagnostics, especially in a professional setting, uh, they, they're just, they're just gonna come back to bite you. If you get one that's not running right, do this test. And this will tell you whether that, without a shadow of doubt, whether or not you need to replace a carburetor or you need to replace crank seals or some gaskets. Alrighty guys, I hope this shed some light on the diagnostic process of a two stroke engine. If it did and you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And tomorrow, and if you'll click the bell, you'll get the new video coming out tomorrow. Uh, you'll get all my new videos if you click that little bitty bell. Appreciate it, everybody. Y'all have a good day. More Medic One.